So for today, we're finally getting started on the Taking King sets for the classes. If you guys don't know, we usually do that after the review and the shader videos are up, which they are already up. You guys can check them out. Um, I'm expect I was expecting a lot, a lot of hate from the Taking King set just because I was pretty negative towards how it shaders, but the overall design I think is super fucking cool. So again, I do apologize. These videos took longer than expected, but I was busy with a lot of things like moving into a new place setting up my rig which is no small feat because i'll show you guys a picture of my rig right now it's not easy i have a lot of a lot have a lot of stuff to do and my girlfriend would hate hearing this but i am thinking about getting a bigger monitor just because she got like a 32 inch and i kind of want one now but yeah i i i have a big ass desk and i'm thinking about adding a new one there's just so many things that happen in my life so that's why i'm like that's why it took forever. So I appreciate your patience. Appreciate all the people that commented. But other than that, let's just get into the hunters. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the Mask of the Taken King and Cloak of the Taken King. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I could have made a set for e these individually just because they're so cool. Just decided to bunch it in with uh, the rest because, again, I want to be equal to the other classes and just have two, two pieces to make a set and then every other piece make a whole set with them. Just because the other classes don't have the luxury of the hunters having a cloak that covers their whole damn like back. So again, more equal than anything else. But for this one, I decided to go for red, which I know a lot of people are going to be like, boo, red hunter. I don't care. Eat my ass. Um, for this one, we're going to be using Mask of the Taken King, like I said. But this one, we're going to be using Arable's Glance because I found a funny way to use the stupid overglow of the the helmet or space specifically the armor plate and decided to use horrible horrible's glance to give the illusion of a red armor piece which is funny because the whole thing is red for the exotic we're going to be using sealed ahamkara grasp this is what we're going to be using this is where the only unfortunate part or the really part that kind of pisses me off is the fact that like most of my sets uh, are mostly fashion related because I don't see people see using sealed ahamkara grasps. That being said, it also kind of future proofs just in case they buff it to the point where it's actually good. Then people are going to be like, oh, I remember that one set Tony made. Let me go make that real quick. That being said, again, I do think the shadering is a little bad for the arms just because it's a little brighter than the red that's used for the new monarchy diamonds. But that's also kind of an easy choice or easy fix, I would say, because you could just choose any of the other reds or you can just go with new monarchy diamonds. The only reason I didn't go with new monarchy diamonds because it's not the same red as the chest piece and the uh, boots, which is why I was like trying to find a new red. For the chest piece, Dark Hollow Chitin is what using because I think it looks really cool with the Apilos following strides. And then again, Cloak of the Taken King. I think this looks really cool. Uh, I would probably switch out the arms uh, for an exotic that I actually use that being said, I don't think we have a lot of like hive themed stuff I think we only have one which is literally the the healing exotic that everyone hates even though It's not that great in my opinion the worm husk crown. I think that's the only hive themed piece we have as hunters so I guess you could switch it out and use the helmet for something else because the helmet alone can carry a whole set in my opinion as for the next set, we're going to be using the Grass of the Taken King, which is the arms. I think this is probably my favorite set from all of the all of these sets, just because, again, it's not only thematic, but it also just looks fucking cool. So for the helmet, Dragonfly Regalia Mask with Tangled Bronze, so I can have the illusion of no face. That being said, I can still notice it from time to time, which kind of irks me. Uh, Grasp of the Taken King for the arms, Pylos Following Vest for the chest piece. And then for the exotic, we're going we're to be using the Tekeli Lee ornament from the Star Eater Scales. I think this looks really, really cool. And then the Solstice Solstice Cloak rekindled because, again, I'm going for that no helmet look. And the Solstice Cloak is really good for that. So there's a lot of things to note here. The shadering is literally uh, Tangled Bronze because I it's the darkest uh, shader here for a non-helmet look. Abyssinian gold for the cloak so that way I can have a darker cloak and then Midnight Smith for all of it because Midnight Smith actually turns off the glow for the grass for the Taken King which is why I'm using red that's why I'm using red for those haters that are like hunter 
black red equals l whatever eat my ass bro it looks cool there's other shaders you can definitely use and i would probably switch the shader out uh midnight smith specifically just because i don't like that there's discoloration on the arms you can actually see silver uh in the red which kind of pisses me off so i would actually go in there and try to find a better shader that being said the boots also do have that discoloration it's not as pronounced as the arms but there is some discoloration in there so i think this looks really cool it's so so much so that this is actually my star eater scale look when i use it so just to show you guys that that's the set that i use as for the next set we're going to be using wormhouse crown specifically the acolyte ambition ornament i think that ornament is fucking fire and this is where my my love comes in because i think this all looks fucking cool and this is like thematic as well kind of so obviously we're going for a hive themed look and this is where i get really excited because for this one we're using the pylos falling grass which i think is cool because it's symmetrical we are using the vest of the taken king for this one specifically with iron to seal because it doesn't turn off the glow of the chest piece you can still see some gold layer in there which is the the, sh the glow um but what i'm really excited about is it actually turn turns off the glow of the cloth on the chest piece which is my main reason why i'm using iron to steel because it changes that and it makes the chest piece and the steeplechase cloak look like they're connected because of that cloth and i just think that looks amazing uh, for the boots, Twisting Echo Strides is what I'm using. If I'm being quite honest, I'm not the biggest fan of these boots just because they're not symmetrical. If they were symmetrical, I think these would be the best boots in the game for Hive theme because quite like right now, I don't think we have any good Hive boots. Um, the Twisting Echo is probably going to be the best one, but anything else just kind of pisses me off. I did try to switch the Apilos following arms with the boots and I thought that was a little bit better, but then it came to the arms and the arms were not symmetrical so if i'm being quite honest i would probably have the the taken king arms on this one and then switch the apilos following arms with the boots and i think all that would be symmetrical and it would look really really cool but uh i didn't want to do that i was just like fuck it we'll just use the boots like it doesn't really bug me too much i mean it does bug me like it bugs the shit out of me but i was like fuck it whatever i don't care so let me know what you guys think about this one and then last but not least, we are going to be using the Mask of Trepidation for this one with the seasonal ornament, specifically the Aphotic Limlar. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I don't know how to say that, but that's what we're using for the arms. For the chest piece, we're using Leering Marrow ornament for the for the Omni Oculus. I think this looks really, really cool, especially if you're going for an, or an organic look. And then Strides of the Taken King, because obviously that's the last piece we're using. And then Dark Hollow Mantle. So this... It's funny because it's all started with the ornament, the arms. It all started with the arms. I wanted to use the arms with the boots. And I was like really, really into the idea of doing that. And everything kind of came into place. Uh, the Leering Marrow ornament was an easy choice just because of the, uh, the organic look of it. Dark Hollow Mantle was an easy choice after I put on Mask of, uh, of Trepidation, I think it's called. And I was like, yo, this looks super dope. I'm going to combine all of this. And honestly, my, that, like my only gripe about this set is the shader. Not saying Donning Brilliance is bad. I actually love this shader. I don't think it looks good on this set specifically because the arms actually take an off color. The that like that chrome brown bronze whatever it's called. That right there. If I could just have that be the same color as everything else, I would not have a problem with it. That's my biggest issue. But other than that, I think this set looks really really cool um that being said i don't know man like it the boots definitely have a hive theme to it and everything else aside from the chest piece don't so i guess i guess the shader i would just have to switch out to make it really look hive theme but let me know what you guys think i really enjoyed doing this one just because again the taken king set is super fucking cool it just comes down to shadering that pisses me off and again I said that in my review of it, I think the armor pieces design wise, probably some of the best hive themed pieces we've gotten ever. I mean, like legitimately, this is the best hive themed armor we've ever gotten. And like, it's not even close. Like I love the dark hollow stuff, like specifically the Taken King set from the Taken King, uh, the, uh, the raid. 
I think that raid armor is super dope for everyone. I, so much so I rated it at, at S or S tier for the tier list for the raid armor. If you guys haven't seen it, I have it right now. But it like this armor is just amazing. It just comes down to the fact that I hate how it shaders. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.